It's everyone's favorite time of month, and that is when new Creation Club content is released. New stuff was released for Fallout 4 and Skyrim. This is the Fallout 4 video. The Skyrim video should be out later today. In this video, I'm going to basically overview all the new releases, and then after that, I actually give my opinions and I guess a bit of a review on these. Let's start things off with the Home Decoration Workshop Pack. This is actually what was of most interest to me. This is Eleanor's mod, or at least one of the mods she was working on in the program. Something to note that I actually listed the mod author names for all these different new releases. That's something really cool, and I will definitely praise them for that. Regardless, what this is going to add in is a ton of new decorations that you can add to your different settlements. This definitely has a Sims vibe to it. Basically, it's just going to be adding in a bunch of new furniture, rugs, cabinets, beds, bunk beds, posters and pictures you could put on your wall, plants. If you're really into settlement building, I could definitely see this being a good steal at 200 points but again there's not really much to say about it there's going to be those categories and those categories will have a ton of different options ranging from different colors and different style of plants but if you don't find yourself using any of this there's nothing groundbreaking here that's going to get you into workshop mode if you weren't already then we do have the Desert Camo Pip Boy skin this is actually going to be free so pick it up on all platforms because why not it's free and it looks like this yeah, that's pretty much it. Then we have what's probably going to be of most interest to all of us, and that's actually going to be a bunch of weapon paint jobs. Three of these are currently available, a Hot Rod Pink one, a Hot Rod Red Flame version, as well as the Hot Rod Shark version. This is all going to be by Skibida. There's also a bundle where you can get all three of them for 225 points, or you purchase each one individually for 100 points. So basically, the way these skins work is they impact a few of the different weapons in Fallout 4. That being the Assault Rifle, the Combat Rifle, the Combat Shotgun, the Laser Rifle, the Institute Rifle, the Missile Launcher, the minigun, the 10mm pistol, the gatling laser, and the 44 revolver. There's going to be a new option while modifying these weapons to attach them as a material, very similar to what many weapon mods do right now. And then yeah, they're going to affect your gun. It's actually going to have different impacts on different weapons, like some of the time it actually extended to different sights or scopes, as well as some of the different muzzle attachments, other times it does not extend to this. And largely these things do look pretty good. Or at least the Hot Rod Shark one, as well as the Hot Rod Red Flames one look pretty good. The Hot Rod Pink one, it's just kind of hard to tell it's even on your guns. I'm not a huge fan of that one at all. That was actually one of my concerns when using this. Some of these in first person are really evident, like when you're using the assault rifle, you definitely know you have a skin on it. Otherwise, your mileage will really vary depending on which gun you're using. On the flip side, the combat rifle and combat shotgun, it's honestly quite hard to tell there's even a paint job on the weapon. So your mileage will definitely vary here. Depending on which weapon and attachments you are using, it'll depend on how well you can see this and really whether it's noticeable or not. Alright, so this is embarrassing, but there's actually another one that I didn't even notice, so I don't have any video for it. The power armor paint job that is in the desert camo for a hundred points. I could buy it, but I'm gonna choose not to because that would involve adding more points to my account, and this is definitely not worth it. But yeah, here's some pictures that you can see yourself. I'm putting them in a video. Alright. Alright, so now that we got that fun out of the way, let's actually go on to the review segment of this video. My thoughts, opinions, and just everything I feel about this. Well, first and foremost, the Doom Pack's actually 50% off. It's 300 for the Doom Armor and Weapon. That's actually not a bad buy at this price. One other overview of all of these is, one, I really love how they're mentioning mod authors. That's something I feel like they should have done from the start, and now that they are including it, whether that be by these mod authors requesting it, or just a overarching idea from Bethesda, which I think it more is, I really like it, and I'm definitely going to praise them for that. But on the flip side, what the hell are these releases. But this took a hiatus from Creation Club being quoted saying they were looking at the program and listening to community feedback. This really isn't all that indicative that you listen to the community feedback that people want larger scale mods. I'm going to go out and whim and say this is the worst release bundle that we've seen for Creation Club so far, either for Fallout 4 and its initial release and subsequent release with the Doom Armors, or for Skyrim's initial release, which I still think is the highlight of the program thus far, and that's honestly not saying much, which is kind of sad. I tried to defend Bethesda on this stuff in the past, at least somewhat, saying hold out, maybe good things will come in the future, and maybe that's still coming, but this is not a sign of that. Honestly, I just find this to be immensely disappointing. I feel like the pricing is actually semi-fair here. Like, all those weapon paint jobs for $2.25, granted, you have to buy a bundle, so it doesn't actually cost that, but for around that price isn't that bad. A lot of these things are fairly cheap, so I imagine you'll be able to pick them up with leftover points you may have from buying one of the other better things, and in that sense, they definitely are semi-worth it. But at the same time, as me and many others have said, this is not the kind of content I want in Creation Club. If if the program is going to exist, I want larger scale mods that are going to add in bigger and cooler things than I could get elsewhere. Honestly, at the end of the day, this is just a huge disappointment for me. I was really hopeful based on some of Bethesda's previous statements, but if this kind of stuff continues, you definitely won't be seeing Creation Club videos from me anymore. I'm not going to put out videos like this that obviously make people buy some of this content because at the end of the day, it's just not worth it. This is a waste of time. And as I was filming this, honestly, I felt pretty stupid. Even beyond that, the implementations in this new version of Creation Club break multiple things about Fallout 4 and the Fallout 
platform modding scene. So unless you already had updates disabled, you will no longer be able to use mods that work with armor keywords or Fallout 4 script extender. Fallout 4 script extender always felt like more of a privilege, so this hasn't been as big of an issue, although there still was outcry about this. And Bethesda has commented on this in the past, it probably won't happen all that much in the future. The reason it happened this time is it added in those new materials, but this time it actually broke armor keywords. So if you are using armor keywords and trying to get those materials, you can't, you have to choose one. So if you just went and spent $3 or however much on these new materials, then I'd be pretty pissed because you pretty much can't use a huge plethora of other mods. I don't think it's super unreasonable to look at the modding scene, to look at some of the most widely used mods, Fallout 4 script extender as well as armor keywords. To give them a heads up, just be like, you know, we're releasing this new update to Fallout 4, it's not going to be compatible with your mod. Maybe even facilitate the creation of an update for compatibility so that could be out right now also. Is that crazy? Do I sound crazy saying that? Because I think that's what should be done. That's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. As always, again, I thank you for watching. If you want to see the Skyrim side of things, which I haven't filmed yet, so I don't actually know if it's better or worse, you can check out that video that's also going to be uploaded later today. But otherwise, as always, again, I thank you for watching, and I hope to see you all next time. Later!